is a French artist, but she's lived for many years in New York. Her practice is mainly based around functional objects, which are sculptures, but at the same time they have a function. So they can be sofas, they can be chests of drawers, they can be coats. Well, I came to New York in 67 for the first time. And New York in 67 was unbelievable. It was a revolution, sexual, uh, cultural, and uh, New York was in the trade. At the hotel, Andy Warhol was filming The Chelsea Girl. And Nico, that I knew from Ibiza, was here. It was really uh, so, so active, so fun. So I came back to the Chelsea Hotel, and uh, I never left, and they never asked me to go. When I came to New York, the pop influenced me a certain way, probably, without I realize. And I came back to the body. More known mainstream pop, which is the one we tend to associate mostly with the American artists like Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein. Whereas Nicola is exemplary of the other pops that emerged at the same time, which very often saw a prominent role for women who were using this language to really reflect upon what was the role of women in society at that time. She is la femme commode in French, but she, she is on wheels. And yes, everything, and I, I have all my stuff in it. Here I have my check, here I have my passport. <laughs> The coat, if one may say so, started out more as a playful thing amongst friends. She made this coat for the last concert on the Isle of Wight. Jimi Hendrix, the doors were part of this concert. I did this vinyl coat because I thought it was going to be, to be cold in England and it was so hot and we were naked in the red coat. So I was distributing gloves with written on it, same skin for everybody. And they are all repeating, the audience, same skin for everybody. It was like a prayer. I got very moved by this. I was not expecting that. It became political, you know? Following this, let's say, initial musical stint of the coat, Nicola has decided to travel with the coat. To her, it has also very social, important social significance. Once you're in the coat, the 11 people are all the same. Same skin for everybody. directs the coat so she will provide the people who are wearing the coat with instructions on how to move them it's a very orchestrated movement Nicola sees herself as this choreographer of the coat 
I did the coat in the street in Amsterdam, uh, in Cologne, in Paris. And it was really fun because I was asking people I didn't know in the street, do you want to go inside my coat? And people who didn't know each other five minutes before were helping each other to go inside the coat. It was absurd but fabulous. Thank you.